Hello everyone, I am Kat and welcome back to the channel. And after a long while back, I'm finally returned, uh, I finally returned to cross out and today we're going to have a art build. And we're going to be using a sprinter cabin for this and we are going to be using the Bigfoot and Bigfoot steering wheels. Because I'm going to put it in the title, I might, might as well said it right away, we're going to be building a pretty oversized Halo Warthog. You can see, normally you would use uh, like something like the um, APC wheels on these, but no, we are not. We're going to use a sprinter and a cheetah, because otherwise we're not going to have enough mass limit to carry everything. And we're going to put some ammo, uh, ammo packs uh, around the build as well, to make sure we actually have enough ammo for our Reaper Gatling gun. Because this is going to be, of course, the um, machine gun variant, or mini gun variant of the Halo Warthog. And you can see here, uh, we're going to put some truck slopes and graders on the sides here to actually get a frontal effect here. And it's all connected up on the uh, top half here. And these are going to make sense a lot later because that's going to be where the actual uh, windshield is going to be. And I am using some of the um, pack items, so it's just the right shoulders on the Karita part. Uh, actually, I think I'm only using Karita special armor parts. As far as I actually remember, going to be rechecking uh, part way through the build here. Actually, yeah, we do actually have the finale of the death uh, pack, but that's it. These are going to be our other two sides, and those are going to be connected through these parts right here. They're not very, like, properly connected, but it's kind of what you had to do, uh, what I had to do to actually get the shape uh, properly. And here you can see the outer uh, areas because we actually have place to put in a little duckies and those are going to be our driver and our co-driver sadly we do not have any uh, more um, uh, parts uh, left to actually put one in the back as well but this is going to be our windshield a shock absorber and it's going to be connected in a very unique way uh, because and we're actually putting that right there as well because we of course have those rebars on the top of the build so they're for the, uh, the roll cage and we are actually using real bumpers to do, uh, to place those, but they're only connected to this little greater part, which is again connected to this uh, fin strike plate, which in turn is connected to these comms, which are in turn connected to these small struts. And this one is actually going to be the main one, which is uh, actually connected to our cabin and has the Reaper on top. And that's our 80 parts limit. Again, we have three ammo packs in here and we got that uh, cheetah underneath. And its speed is actually not bad. Here you can see it's accelerating decently well. I started out with a um, duster at first, but the duster does not have enough cabin power to actually get this thing moving at a somewhat decent speed. So I ended up using this instead. And I am just going to go into a battle and uh, we're gonna be <laughs> dying a lot obviously because this is really just an art build overall and there's no way this thing is going to compete with the builds that are properly play, uh, built at this power score so uh, yeah it's going to be interesting to say the least got a melee build cannon user I cannot even fire on the move without actually rolling over so that's also something to like um, be aware of and there's going to be our target. Actually, a robot. Got to be sure to get that gun off. And there she goes. And we actually got the kill there. Which is nice. First killing the AI is not really, like, the best thing to do. But just getting them out of, out of here does help a little bit. There you can see us getting... Whoa, whoa. Is that a... Uh, that's a booster build, at least. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Was that some kind of uh, slam dunk build? I don't know. But we're now going to be taking out this guy. Wow. I've, I'm getting more kills than I expected, honestly. And since all the AIs are running that way, it seems the enemies are over there. Or over here as well. Can I take his gun out before he takes out mine, is the question. Yes, I can. Oh. 
And there we go. Are you really going to be self-destructing an art build, man? Well, I guess that's it for uh, <laughs> for me. Yep. Maybe might be able to roll somewhere, but doesn't seem like it. And especially with that guy being over there, I am very, very dead. And that means that all we got left is our two bots. And this one's gonna get degunned real quick and killed, and we do not have the cap point, so yeah, that's a loss. And wow, glass cannon <laughs> with a tsunami, okay. And Emily runs away. And that seems to be the end of this match. Two and a half minutes left. And we are very dead as a team. Three kills still is way more than I expected, honestly. But oh well, I guess I'm just going to go on, on to the next battle. And actually, one funny thing, actually, I have to note out before I do that. Uh, this here is a block. It's an, uh, this item here is not actually usable for real normal players. But that's simply a half wall right on top of there. It's just simply still an old build from... Uh, before those parts got removed from the game and replaced with new half walls. A little funny thing in the side uh, notes. And we're gonna like just gonna do two tree matches honestly with this thing. It's really made to be an art build. And I do have to say it took me longer than I expected to build this thing. <laughs> And uh, I had to rebuild it, like, multiple times because I got the entire, like, skill wrong. Like, the entire top half was one block higher first at first, and it was just too high. I had to lower it by one block and then somehow fit parts underneath, and that's how I ended up with this design. The speed is still alright. Like, it's about as, mu as quick as a real Warthog from Halo. Which is kind of cool. I'm just going to be a sneaky bastard right here and just shoot my gun right through this hole. And not do anything else. Until we run out of targets. And then we're just going to go look for something else. Uh, a little bit too far away. I would prefer to like have them be closer. Well, there are definitely people over there. And those are coming towards us. Let's spin up our gun. There we go. Oh, hello. This is a problem. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Instantly degunned as soon as the, the parts fall off, of course. And cannon. <laughs> And again, team annihilated. Let's go left. It's a wasp your carrier. Huh. Don't see those too often anymore. Looks like a body build. Uh, let's just go on to the last battle of today. And while I said I was back, I actually do have to apologize because I'm going to be gone for another week. And probably won't be able to like make videos then. But once I have returned after that, I still have like half a week of vacation before my college starts. So I will be able to like pump out daily videos then. And uh, like half few, uh, some like five, six videos for you guys right after another. And I'm really in an art building mood, so uh, if you guys have any build that you guys want me to recreate, just like this Hater Warthog, feel free to comment below, and I will see what I can do. And there's that guy with the Cyclone, seems like. Ooh. Oh, here you guys can see how the uh, <laughs> bottom side looks like, where you're still pretty much intact. I do not feel the need to spend ammo on trying to flip myself. What I do have is a machine gun against that little turret. Uh, 
Hello. Ah, oh, that's great. No gun depression. And here we go. Let's get the hell out of here because I have no <laughs> urge to be in that line of fire. We lost anyways, but I do want to like try to do something at least. Oh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> well then, I'm just gonna be locking my gun and just like spin around until I get the gun. <laughs> Right. So, that's gonna be it for today, honestly. Um, again, I'll be absent for another week, and then I'll be able to make videos for you guys again. So, again, comment down below, what do you guys want to see from me once my week of extra vacation is over? And, um, just like, fold up uh, the ones you guys want to see from others, uh, and I'll just take a look at the top votes. And which one is going to be the most plausible for me to actually build, of course. Other than that, anything goes. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.